All right, guys, let's check out the, the new Dryden Pathfinder. This is an automatic diver, obviously. Now, past experience with Dryden have been Mecha Quartz powered chronograph, and they were beautiful, well-constructed watches. So I was hoping that would carry over to the automatic, and once I got one in the, the uh, studio here, 100% carries over. These are just fantastic. These are assembled in the U.S. as well. So Jerry hit me up, the owner of Dryden, and uh, asked to send one over. I said, absolutely. Send whatever color you, you want. I don't really care. They all look great. There's a, a silver dial one. There's this blue one, and there's a black one. I think the black one you can you get in date model. The no date, like this one, they're using the uh, Miota uh, 9039, so it is the no date movement, so you don't have a phantom hand or a position or anything. So just an overall really well-constructed watch at a very good price. So let's get into the case size. As you can look at it here, you got really nice brushing. And then there's just a pop of polished relief there. So pretty much an everyday type watch, like for you know regular everyday use, like how we should be wearing watches. So 41 millimeter case, 47 lug to lug. You can see actually a really nice turn down on those and then also drilled lugs. Um, you know, you have the quick release bracelet on this, but it's still nice to have the drilled lugs because if you want to wear it on a NATO strap, which this, he sent this over with this, so I'm not sure if it comes with these or not. I'll put a link in the description to the website. You can check it out. They are on sale right now, and it has a special offer where it comes with an extra strap or something. Uh, but anyway, 47, check this out. The thickness, or thinness in this case, 11.8, including the double-domed, Sapphire crystal with AR coating, and it is a very nice quality fit to the ceramic bezel on this one. Like I said, just great, great construction on this thing. And then a 20 millimeter lug width here, bracelet tapers down to 18. Pretty standard affair here for, you know, like a micro brand or something of its nature. You have a milled out center section, and then you have I don't know if it's stamped. If it is stamped, it's very heavy stamped. It's not the thinner, like, Seiko stamped, but it has four micro adjusts. No, uh, you just got to grip it there. It's just friction fit and then a fold-over signed keeper there. So pretty easy uh, to operate there. No dive extension. You do have screw links, so pretty easy to size. He sent this one already sized up for me, so big thanks for doing that, Jerry. Saves me a little bit of time. And 120-click bezel action on this. Nice, solid. There's like no play in this at all. And it lines up. So that leads me on to my ne next topic here is the price. Right now, they're on sale. Um, the regular retail price is $650. Still actually a decent deal right there. But right now, they're on sale for $500 through November 30th of 2020. Snapshot in time. So go click the link down below and see if you can even find one. So I think at $500... You're getting a killer, killer watch. That's my, you know, that's my happy place. That's my sweet spot. 500 or, or less is where I really, really like to uh, explore. And this one definitely holds its ground in that category. Also comes with this travel pouch. So pretty cool. You got some, uh, you know, spun or um, whatever holders here. You can put some, and then you get put two watches in there so and it's a nice pouch for travel you can throw it in your luggage or something so that works out really good um, he also sent over FK, fkm strap um, these are another option that you can buy while you're buying the watch and i highly suggest doing so because i absolutely love fkm or vulcanized rubber straps i will change this out and show it uh, on the watch and on wrist as well towards the end of the video but um, highly highly recommend getting the full kit I mean, because you're already getting a killer deal. Just get the full kit. Get the bracelet, get the FKM, get everything. Uh, BGW9 Loom on this guy. And there's another option, at least for this blue one, and I think maybe the silver. I don't know if the black one has it. But you can do the ceramic bezel insert like this. Or you can do a steel dive bezel. So the same layout, but in steel. And there's a 12-hour steel bezel insert option as well. So pretty cool. Let's uh, do a little close-up on this so you can see that really well done dial. And then I absolutely love that he, those hands are brushed. And then they also have a chamfer or, you know, they're 
angled one way or the other. So, I mean, check out the catch light. Like, right there, you know, you got extreme visibility on the minute hand, and then the hour hand kind of darkens a little bit, and then as soon as you twist around, you'll get, you know, a pop of light. I just like the way it catches the light. Applied indices. Tons of loom in the center of those. And then you have a unique shaped almost like a fighter jet shape or something for the 12 o'clock so you can orientate yourself. Even the bezel is actually kind of smooth and then there's just these like V cutouts in it. So it has enough traction, but yeah, it's kind of smooth overall. Really nice finishing on this. Solid end links, that first center link actually articulates, but it doesn't completely fold over, but this is only 47 millimeters, so it's really not an issue. If you take a look at the screw down case back, you can see some information there. Dryden Watch Company, you got a lighthouse there, US assembled, 200 meter water resist, screw down crown, all that good stuff. And then the quick release tabs for the bracelet. Let's zoom back out. Signed crown, the crown is, uh, I don't know, about five and a half millimeter. Nice, easy operation, screws out. Gives you a nice little pop, and then you can hack the movement and adjust the time. Let's pop this guy on wrist. So you can see it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Just a Goldilocks size right there, guys. 41 by 47, and it's thin. Everybody's going to be able to wear this. I don't care what your wrist size is. You're going to be able to rock this watch, no problem. And maybe I can't say rock the watch, because... There's a Rock the Watch channel, and he watches my channel, and that's kind of his go-to phrase. So, sorry if I stole that from you just now. I, I'll try not to make a habit of it. Um, let's let's swap it out real quick. I'll try to do a live. If it doesn't work, then I will edit it out. I know when I was putting the bracelet on, I did actually struggle with it a little bit. So, I mean, it helps to have some nails. I, I actually have a little bit of thumbnail action right now, but and maybe somebody will. Give me a heck about that, but I'm used to using the tool, so when you give me the no tool option, it kind of throws me off. Oh, that's in there. All right, let me brush that up. I'll probably edit that out, otherwise people will freak out that I did that. All right, and here it is on the FKM. And that is crazy comfortable. I love vulcanized rubber and FKM straps. If you have not tried them, do it. I'm, I guarantee you, you will like them. So, and I'm not going to put it on the NATO just because I'm not. But you can see it next to the watch. That blue combo right there would just be super, super blue. All right, let's kill the lights. Check the loom. And that'll be it. Excellent job on the BGW-9. Heavy application, plenty bright enough, super legible. I love that the bezel insert is also loomed. So, excellent job, Jerry. Keep up the great work. I look forward to all the Dryden models that you guys put out because they, they are just spectacular and they're U.S. assembled. So, kudos. Thanks for doing it. I'll see you guys in the next vid.